months. So let me know. Is We're it, good? Yeah. All right. Welcome, everybody, to Supreme Being, another episode. Uh, you guys have been seeing the slow transformation of our offices. We started with the office originally here in Miami that I kind of pimped out into a flex space that is half warehouse, half office. You are now sitting in the new one, which I announced a while back, but we're finally putting it together. Obviously, we change companies. If you only follow my podcast and you don't follow me closely, then um, now is the announcement for you, right? You're hearing it. We moved from EXP Realty over to Real Brokerage. We're excited about it. We can shoot you other links too. You can go to my other channels if you want to find out about why and all the logistics behind it. But look, that's what I want to talk about today because I still come across this a lot with people, right? Like a lot of people who have been around me for a long time, my students, my team members, understand this, right? However, the people who follow me from a distance and aren't close and we don't have like a more intimate relationship, they still struggle with this particular area in themselves and in life that I want to cover today. So you've seen the title, right? The title, even though I'm shooting this and I don't have the title yet, it's going to be something around um, identity, something around reinventing yourself, right? So we'll say the, the correct and proper process of reinventing yourself because this to people is foreign. I say it, they claim they get it, but what's missing is the application of it. So let me give you an example, right? From the moment we're born, everything is shoved onto us. Oh, you're this race, you're this religion, you're this, you're that, right? You have this upbringing, you're poor, you're rich, you're middle class. All these labels get shoved on you. And when you're a kid, you just, whatever, right? You have an understanding of what they are, but you never question and say, wait, right? Because when we accept those things, this is what happens. When you accept a label, it becomes a part of your identity and now you personify it, meaning you're like, oh, I'm this, right? Let's say it's a race, oh, I'm Hispanic or oh, I'm fucking, I'm black, I'm white, I'm Asian or whatever it is. Now, you've never looked at that. You never analyzed that. So based on what you think it means to be that race, if we're gonna use that as an example, many people will just, oh, I'm supposed to walk this way, talk this way, dress this way. You get where I'm going with this. Now all the, what we deem stereotypical stuff starts coming into the picture because like as an example, I would get made fun of before for speaking properly and enunciating. Oh, you, you're whitewashed and all this other stuff that people say. That clashes with this because now you wanting to speak properly because you want to be a traveling speaker, you want to do a podcast, you want to just improve your communication in general, it, you now will be in conflict because you're like, oh wait, I can't do it because I can't, right? Oh, well, my friends will make fun of me. Oh, well, it's not a part of who I am, right? Another one I hear a lot from people as well, and this is huge in the Hispanic community, especially with the females. Oh, you know, well, we have attitude. That's how we are. No, it's bullshit. It's a cop-out. You can change that. So you mean just because you were born into a particular family and bloodline, you automatically have no control over your attitude and your emotions? That's stupid. Now, I know the examples I'm giving you to an extent are silly, but we hear this because whether it's a lot or a little bit, this shows up in people's lives. Let's talk about money. How many of you like me grew up without money? And it was ingrained in you. You're always going to be poor. You won't be uh, rich unless you're famous or you make it in sports or whatever it is. Think about it. How many of us growing up, it was, we have to be a fucking uh, an actor, a singer, or a rapper, or a fucking athlete. And if you don't do that, you're screwed. You're going to have to work a regular job, work at Burger King, McDonald's, or in quotes, a regular type of job that doesn't make a lot of money, and all hopes and dreams are out the window. Forget being an entrepreneur, forget being all that other stuff. It's just, you have to fall into those categories. Now, where does that come from? It comes from this labeling that starts very early and because this has been happening generation after generation after generation it's so ingrained in you that you never stop to think or at least the proper word here is challenge that way of thinking in that process so that's really what i'm inviting people to do on this episode and i kind of want to walk you through some of the things that i went through and some of the things that i was kind of dealing with in my mind because this is key right the first thing is this is you create yourself based on what you want to be and what you value, meaning you need to sit there with a pen or a pencil and a notepad and say, okay, what are my values? What's my code as a man, as a woman, right? What do I believe in? What, 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 what is just to me? What are my morals? You can't expect me or anybody else or your religion to give you that. You first need to be able to decide. Now, can we use other things as reference, sure, but the ultimate decision and the ultimate authority needs to be you to say, this is what it is. So now you take a pause on that and come to my real estate team. Well, we have a mission statement. We have our codes and values that we uh, prescribe to as a team. 
Meaning when you join this team, you're agreeing to this code and you will abide by this code and you will live by this code. You know, honesty, loyalty, respect, and all these things. It's written. It's, it's chiseled into the stone of my team. If we would have a stone monument, it would be chiseled into it. Right? So, a lot of people never do that. You just, well, I do this and I believe in this. Do you really, though? A lot of people have never taken time for self-reflection at all to say, this is what I believe in, this is my code. And I would invite many of you right now to pause this episode and at least create on a piece of paper. Don't type it. Everybody, oh, everything's digital. Fuck that. Put the phone down, get a fucking pencil and pen and a piece of paper or a notepad and write. What is my code? What do I live by? What's okay? What's not okay? And you'll start to see very quickly a lot of stuff that comes to your mind You've never stopped and said, wait, is that really what I believe? Right? Like, let's talk about some of the controversial stuff. It's controversial for me to say there's only two genders. I mean, I'm blown away that that's a controversial statement. And for somebody to say the opposite now has become the norm. And then I get attacked for saying that. It's just, it makes no sense from a logical standpoint, but that's a normal thing now, right? Now, whether it's that that's deemed controversial or something that's just personal to you, the world will do the same thing. If you come from a family, a bloodline of not having money, you making the claim now that you're gonna start making money and grow yourself becomes a controversial statement. Well, what do you mean? No one's ever done it. You don't, your own family. Wait, wait, we're not entrepreneurs and get a job and oh my God, that's scary, it's risky. You're met with resistance from your own fucking family that supposedly supports support you, your own flesh and blood. Now, that comes from a position of not knowing. It comes from a position of ignorance. How is somebody who doesn't know something going to tell you it's going to work or not if they have no direct experience or knowledge of that thing? But we allow our emotions to get in the way. Oh, well, it's mom, it's dad, it's my cousin. Uh, I have to listen to them. No, no. So all these things, even though I'm giving you little snippets and little different examples, they all fall under the same category. So when I said reinventing yourself, you first need an ideal image and construction of that final version of you. Like imagine the example is um, like the people who work on stone, right? And create these monuments and statues where they chisel away every day. Like you're doing that with yourself. But you have to go down item by item and say, okay, what do I want? What does it look like? What's my attitude gonna be like? How am I gonna live day to day? How do I interact with people? What's my demeanor? What do I drive? How am I dressed? What do I do in a day? What, what do I find joy in? Like all these things have to be kind of figured out by you and like pieced together to have an idea of, okay, this is what I deem as the more actualized version of me, the more developed version of me. You know, maybe right now you're watching this and you're like, oh, like I hate these fucking labels. Oh, I'm an introvert. Well, if you were to have it any way and you could, you know, achieve any desire, would you still stay that way? Or would you want to be somebody who's out and about interacting with the world and even if you're not a social butterfly you would at least be comfortable communicating with people and you wouldn't hesitate or freeze up in an event or in public i'm sure that would be the case for the vast majority of you so now okay you know what you label now as the introvert you don't identify with that at your core you would like to change it but what happens we don't change it because then everybody hammers it into you oh you're just shy you're this you're that and you buy the bullshit and then you never change it so i'm here to tell you you can change it the question becomes now, you've identified it, you're aware of it, now you said, I want to change it, okay, what happens next? This is now where you need to systematically create some sort of change for you in your life and say, what am I going to do? Am I going to get help? Am I going to do it on my own? Am I going to you know, do this and do that? But the main thing I want to put behind that is action. If I want to become more social, guess what? i got to fucking socialize. You're not going to become more social listening to podcasts and reading books. You're going to get out there and say, okay, I got a technique from the book. Before I go to page 10, I'm going to put it down and I'm going to drill this technique in public 20 times a day for a week. And then I'm going to continue reading the book. Not, oh, I'm just going to read the book and then all oh, that was good stuff. Yeah. And then nothing changes. This is how you start identifying and then creating change. Keyword there, create. You create the change. You. Sorry, I keep looking at my phone because I have the timer on, right? I'm in the, the new studio and I need to see where I'm at with time. You create the change. And I'm inviting you to do it. This is, so, this is the disconnect for people. Oh man, this is great. Yes, you might even write stuff down. But what happens when this episode is over and you're left with yourself? Are you going to go back to fucking scrolling through your phone or watching fucking Netflix or playing video games when you should be doing this first? 
let the actualized version of you do the video games and all that shit. Because now you can at least say, well, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Now, I guarantee you in that process, you won't go back to doing the other stuff that you did. Or you'll find that it doesn't fulfill you like it did before. Because that's the number one thing I've noticed since I've become a better version of me. It's the same things that would fulfill me in the past do not fulfill me now. Or if they do, in quotes, fulfill me, it's to a way lesser degree than they used to. So the best part about this, we'll sum it up and we'll keep it short today. There's no wrong answers with this. However, what's key is from your own, the depths of your soul, this stuff has to come out. It can't be, oh, I want to be like Brian or this person or that person. Again, you can take a reference from us, but ultimately the character traits and all the things that you want have to be you and what you want, not trying to be someone else or copying somebody else. This is why you'll see people create plans and business plans and goals and then it fizzles out because what they're going after, they really don't want. And if there's no intimate connection with it, of course you're going to fizzle out and not be motivated and all the other garbage that people deal with because you're not doing something or becoming someone that you want to become. That's the key. Okay, so I appreciate you guys tuning into this episode. Hopefully you like the new setup. I love it. And if you don't like it, too bad because we're going to keep it. Um, uh, I normally do longer episodes, but we'll end it today. All the links are below. If you guys want to check out the website, get on the email list, check out all the, the courses and coaching that we have. If you're interested in my team or my real estate brokerage, those links are below as well. Um, if you haven't, Take the couple seconds to give us a review on iTunes or whatever platform you're listening on as that helps the podcast grow. All right. Thank you. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.